I'm going to do a quick video on incident I had last night when I did go for a walk to Shmarieshka to Pritzer. Uh, and guess what? It's again a police psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, that were involved in this stuff. And basically, I responded to the incident by video recording one at one o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm going to issue another video, which is going to be a video with a video. Right now, however, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you a soundtrack, an audio recording about the incident. Uh, a video is something completely separate from a soundtrack. The soundtrack will prove that people I dealt with, not today, but these are the people that were involved in MK Ultra already, some were already involved Hoo -hoo, back in time. Others are just younger people, not all the people the same age. Police used intervention vehicle, uh, several intervention vehicles to intimidate. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch wanted a physical confrontation out of it. Uh, there was a lot of promises to me there would be a physical confrontation. These are not the only people from Shmarieshka to please, so young people that would be not everybody is from Shmarieshka to please, as I'm about to tell, uh, involved in physical, whatever you want to, whatever you want to adjust this stuff, uh, MK Ultra threats and that. Uh, it was other people. It should be some local farmer, about 190 tall, maybe even more, that had in plan to attack me at night when I would go for a walk and so on. This is, this is just a, a madness that accompanied me since my age six months. Uh, just as I stated, the MK Ultra procedure itself for the first time stopped on me in 2020, but the MK Ultra subjects, people involved in one, continued to exercise program. Uh, they basically followed the steps, the program. MKUltra is a program. Uh, and so those involved, what they do is they trigger all sorts of incident according to the scripts, according to scenarios, which they predisposed uh, in an earlier time when they had me captive, when they had me jucked up in their hands. Yeah. So this is going to be the video uh, about Shmarieshka to pizza, maybe. Uh, it's hard to say. There is absolutely no location in Novo Mesto area that would not be involved in this uh, case. That's what actually makes me even angrier. Uh, I don't like personality that is trying to resolve something that is of a great legal issue uh, with some kind of gimmicks and uh, all kinds of, uh, you know, really, I called Slovenian government in 2010, and I'm not going to go and negotiate on these issues, but in 2010, I gave you a warning, I told you, to come out clean about, to apologize, to issue apology and accept your being revealed in front of the world for your dirty tactics, which at the time I wouldn't want to refer to as something that would have to do with, it was a time like this still. With Greater Serbia, with the Moscow, 
and you just you couldn't do your part you just for to me unknown reasons unacceptable uh, for unknown reasons you couldn't do your part so if that's all you can do and i'm saying this because the people you're about to hear in this audio which i'm not going to translate i'm going to give you just a description of the incident and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to play you this audio uh not necessarily were involved in everything bad um but i warned on my website i told you do not try to pull on me some kind of i want to say this dirty tricks something that would remind of what went on during mk ultra to basically to get I should just say justification uh, for what you started at age six month when I was six month old I'm now 52 almost in December and you basically inherited from Federative Republic Yugoslavia from the greater Serbian threatening state upon independence in 91 and you couldn't do anything about it basically to stop it. Uh, don't try to resolve this with some kind of incidents more insults more aggressive acts which are so plentiful uh, of violence and all sorts of stuff in mk ultra don't, don't don't try to do that because it's not going to do you any good all right so the only thing I would do is I'll continue to document this stuff and put this on the internet. And the more of the stuff like this you do, the worse it's going to get for you. That's all there is to it. And I'm telling you, this is a collectively. I'm not happy about this stuff. I don't, uh, this kind of human conscience. Um, I wouldn't accept, for one thing I tell you, I wouldn't accept apology from you today, collectively. If you would issue as a state, as a nation, whatever you would do, I would not accept one. Because it's malicious conscience. Because it's with this kind of human conscience, the world doesn't have chance, basically. You kept it to yourself, basically, for 51 years. 5 1, 51 years. It started when I was six months old. And you couldn't resolve this. And when you're trying to resolve this in a, in a ways like this, it's just really bad, all right? Uh, what you see here are Shmari Yashkutu Plitze, okay? This is a location I uh, reached somehow at one o'clock in the morning, earlier today in the morning, I was here. I was walking. I did, if you want to call this hiking, whatever you want to call this, let's see this stuff here. Um, Well, it's about a two-hour walk. That's all there is to it. A two-hour walk it is. Uh, it was a really beautiful walk. Um, and uh, I had really fun going on a night walk. Basically, uh, exactly through what you see here. At one o'clock, I reached exactly the location. I demonstrated you. Uh, they have pools here. They have spa here. This is called the Shmarieshka to Plitze. Now, uh, something I already have spoken about. But uh, before the Shmarieshka to Plitze, all right, doesn't matter. This is okay. All right, let's go here. Something before the Shmarieshka to Plitze from really from the distance, like this. Uh, you could notice this car. Uh, it was an Audi A4. You could notice it was greater than this distance. All right. But it really got me, it really got my attention from really, really distance. It was pitch dark night. Uh, I came about like this, and I see this lights 
from the Audi A4. Uh, Audi company itself was involved in the stuff they played with. Uh, this lights, Angela Merkel was really proud about Audi uh, having a lights like this. Uh, it was a big invention. Uh, not exactly the lights like this. We can see the Audi is playing with this, with the rear lights. Uh, these lights were different though. These lights did go and uh, it was like something I already have searched. Oh boy. And I couldn't find stuff like this. Or maybe I can get one here from this one. Uh, but you're talking about big lights. Uh, hey, welcome to another episode of Dark Karma. around and Let me see if this is going to be the one. No. Uh, the stuff that Audi does, I want to touch that stuff here. I don't like that kind of stuff. I spoke to the CEOs from the Audi that were involved in it. And I got to tell you straight that I don't like this kind of stuff. I don't like playing with this kind of stuff. Uh, the Audi told me, the CEOs told me that it's questionable whether they would get the permit to do something like this, because this is actually for the law enforcement the type of lights. Uh, and after they got this kind of permits for the lights you're about to see, they were like really proud. And the Audi owners, they told me, that would be like entitled to have this kind of lights. It would be like really uh, like entitlement for the money you pay, basically. All right. As crazy as this, not. Not as crazy as this, uh, but let's do this stuff again here. I want to see this. We can do everything that you see is flashing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the hell is that stuff? Yeah, this kind of stuff. You see this kind of stuff? This. Exactly this. This. The light right underneath that's going from left to the right, did you see on the right side, that kind of stuff? Uh, it was done in a, such a way that it would be on the both sides, on the left and on the right, the lights would be flashing, but not just the lower portion like that, that you see, but both lights, the whole thing would be just, um, just like you see it right there. I'm going to use the paint. I have time to play with this stuff. I'm not excited. Me personally, I wouldn't even allow this stuff to be. I don't like the idea about the lights like that. Uh, I do believe that the only one entitled to this type of lights should be really just like an Audi. Uh, CEOs have stated me. That's basically law enforcement. I am not a believer of any kind of special privileges when it comes to um, light pictures, um, how, how can I say? Book. When it, when it comes to uh, using equipment, all right, in a traffic, I'm not a fan of any kind of special modifications to the vehicle, to the vehicles. I believe that that stuff should be reserved always for the law enforcement, for the police, for the people that are working in a traffic, ensuring safety. I don't like the idea about this stuff because you also have workers that repair the road and they're using this kind of uh, lights they're using this kind of lights to uh, to make sure that cars are avoiding um you know like signs for the detours so you don't so you pay attention to the road repairs and stuff like this no you know the cars are doing that kind of stuff i mean how the hell can that be cool that's not cool 
So we're talking about the light like this. So the light will be doing like this, you know, but very, very fast, you know. Uh, so <laughs> I, I don't know. Both on both sides, on the left and on the right, both sides are simultaneously doing like this. And this will be gone and it would repeat again. And it would be gone, it would repeat again. Uh, very powerful, man. Just like you're going to see this on the video. It's something I'm going to demonstrate to you in the video, what the hell that looks like. Uh, hell, that stuff would not even bother me. I don't care about what people do. I don't care about what people, what the people are up to. I don't care. I really do not care what people mount on their cars. I'm not that sensitive. However, there is a big problem with this issue. The problem with this issue was a psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch, and novel Mr. Police. This individual here, who was involved since my early childhood, this individual here, this guy here, a local celebrity who became my psychiatrist once the Slovenian Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana Polje have labeled me as a paranoid schizophrenic, as mentally ill in 2013 through a procedure through which they required my parents and family to lie about domestic violence against me. It was domestic violence at large that went on. It accumulated every day, day after day. As I say, it, it started at age six. In 2013, this domestic violence already had close to 42 years of existence, and it was intense. Still, I was not the one who engaged in domestic violence. However, uh, novel master police, this department here, did through organized judiciary system, courts, assisted my parents. You're talking about the people that would go and torture inside of the house. You're talking about the police investigators and have through the local court in the Novo Mesto pushed on a national level to get me into a psychiatric hospital. So, This here, however, is my problem. And we did not solve this problem yet. And we're not going to solve this problem till I actually see the police going inside him in this building and pulling the poli police officer handcuffed out of this building, arrested, load them inside the cars, intervention vehicles, and get them out of here to Ljubljana so the trial can start because they are dangerous. They represent danger to the public. At one o'clock in the morning, according to MP Retro scenario, which I am going to demonstrate you, as I said, in a separate video, I do have to re remove a license registration number. I have to find a way to dim that stuff. I don't want that to be seen. I don't want that stuff to be seen. A vehicle was parked Audi A4 black color was parked right here in this location here, right next to what you see the lights here are flashing, indicating a sidewalk. And this location here was a frequent route, frequent MK Ultra route for the police investigators, for the police officer, or for the people that were willing to assist police uh, as a night round 
or day round, whatever the case would be, they were using a silicone mask, whatever the case would be, uh, they would have me walk these routes here. And this store here, Tosh, which was very much involved in MK Ultra, is positioned right next to this restaurant here that you see. Uh, I don't know what the name is. Maybe the name is Simba, whatever. That's what it says right there on the top. Uh, I never did go in there. However, I don't. I don't go in here. I don't go in there under MK. When they had me under MK Ultra, I was inside of that restaurant all the time. I was inside of this restaurant all the time. The waitress. Uh, the waitresses, uh, workers, uh, everybody, owner, everybody was involved in this procedure uh, with uh, special privileges of police uh, hosting people from the area, people from the Novel Mesto City, people from everywhere. This place right here. These lights were flashing here that you see. Yeah, they were flashing. Well, you know, I'm going to do like a little presentation. Then I'm going to even go and I'm going to reach out for this few video recordings I got. I'm not going to demonstrate you a license tag number or anything like this. I'm going to reserve that for a separate video. Uh, but I will point out who the people were involved in this stuff. That's why I'm video recording this. So it's not, somebody's not going to get the wrong impression about it in any way. Um, position exactly as you see this car right here, probably closer to, and it doesn't matter, to this, uh, yeah, about something like this, I would say. Yeah, we, we're going to see exactly what the position was. Yeah. Um, was this vehicle Audi A4 with this lights flashing like crazy, uh, both lights, the semaphore lights, this lights at one o'clock in the morning. Well, the only thing I did was I took the camera in my hands and uh, I didn't waste any time. I started to video record this incident, which was a repetition of MK Ultra from a novel master police and from on behalf of this psychiatrist, Peter Koch, they, uh, this kind of stuff and the flashing lights even inside of the kitchen, which the strobes, these are all the videos I have, have to furnish you with. Uh, flashing lights at the home for elderly people, all that kind of stuff, flashing lights. Bulbs basically are strobes are just like they're gonna die out and you're just tripping basically with lights. All this shit was interpreted to be the MK Ultra. The police is coming. The police will be coming. You know it's gonna be Ljubljana. It's gonna be Ljubljana. It's gonna be Ljubljana Polia. It's gonna be a psychiatric hospitalization. Uh, they indicated oh, uh, a Mount Everest of this kind of. Uh, it's not only the rear lights that will be doing this kind of stuff, but also front lights that were doing this kind of stuff. Using mother to put the pills, all kinds of stuff, playing right in front of me. Uh, how uh, you're going to see me consuming pills and stuff like this. They tried a lot of anxiety. What uh, angers me, however, is... Now, that's why I started the video like this. Don't think you're going to... I will ever accept any kind of apology from you for the stuff you did because I don't think there is uh, any 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 um, anything human in you. you know, I don't believe that there is anything anything that would that I could interpret uh, as something that's uh, like conscience-wise, that there will be some kind of regret or something like this, and I would, there's no fucking regret here, you know, there is no, there is no, there's no human conscience in this stuff, that's why I, I wrote yesterday uh, a post, I posted something that uh, pretty much 
demonstrate how exactly I feel about all this stuff, about being a subject to this criminal procedure for no less or more than 51 years, being blacklisted, uh, and I'm not, I'm not going to go into it, have life wasted and stuff like this, even thrown inside a psychiatric hospital, and laughed at for being thrown inside a psychiatric hospital, basically. Ridiculed for having a psychiatric pills, causing me also harm and stuff like that. Fuck you. That is what I don't like about this stuff. You're not going to convince me that you have some kind of conscience that uh, all that stuff was necessary and that you couldn't do anything about it. That's what bothers me the most, actually. That's the stuff that really angers me. Uh, if somebody thinks we'll interpret this stuff as like there was uh, there was no way, you know, there's nothing we could do about it. This is just the way it was. We, we were, you know, I don't know, victims or something like this. Uh, I, you know, think twice about that stuff. Think about how you got the independence uh, and what exactly that independence is to you. Because I suffered for you to get this independence. I fought for that independence. I, I saw it. I know what, how it was, what the price was that I paid for that kind of independence. I remember what went on. And so if you think that you're going to apologize in any ways, Oh, look, look at this. This is this is the way it was, you know, from a distance like this. How far am I? How the hell I know? Oh, look, look, look what this is. I mean, that was a Volkswagen Polo with the GO registration number. Uh, just before, this is also important to note, just before, just before it happened to me, uh, my, my coming across this car at Shmareshka Toplitsa, this here is what was behind the village. This young man also was involved in MKR truck. And you can see I'm really polite about this stuff. If anybody is polite, I am polite. Uh, I noticed this car where actually kind of a shouldn't even be. But the thing about it is that I do respect people when people, I, in other words, I never go and I never ever video record. I never do this. I never video record license plate. I never ever go and would not do such a thing under any circumstances, unless, unless there will be exclusively important uh, proof, important for me, uh, which so far it did not even happen. Anything like this I would ever publish publicly. Or somebody is doing something that definitely shouldn't do. Okay, you understand me what I'm saying? Uh, I had, a, I met many, many people that came to meet me and I never ever did. Even if people post and they suggested me and during MK Ultra, they asked me, please take the, uh, also the picture of the car and stuff like this, uh, of the license registration number. I never, ever would go and publish any of that kind of information. You were also able to see that what I did was, if I did publish portion of it, just so that even the get indicated some, if I did identify somebody from abroad or some other country, but I never, ever would go because I always protect identity of the people, absolutely. There's no way I would go and video record. And that's exactly what happened on my way to Shmarieshka to please. There's a car right there. 
you can see how politely I removed the camera because I, I see there's a car waiting for me right there. But I don't want to video record. These kids were also involved in NPO. So this kid got with his girlfriend already since 2018, since 2017, they're together already. Um, however, as I approach them, I point the camera away. I did catch glimpse of the vehicle, uh, but I do not go for a license registration number and the young kid that was inside was very nice. He had the lights on and he was smoking cigarettes and he had the window closed. So uh, I don't bother with the stuff like this. Um, the point here is I never ever video record license plates unless you cross my path. Now, all right, so obviously I did bypass the guy and turn the camera away. And here you can see I again pull the camera out of the pocket, really put one inside of the pocket and put one out of the pocket and I continue the road to make sure that nobody would get in trouble somehow, either way, whichever way. The time 22.55, as you have seen. Now I do come to Shmariashka to plead. And the guy who got himself a girlfriend sometimes in 2000. Okay, the guy, another guy was identified. I didn't talk to him. He had the windows closed. He nicely had the light on. But look at this. This is what the Shmariashka to plead said. It's just like showing you. See right there. Uh, I'm sure you have noticed this kind of uh, car, truck, whatever. And it's not a car, it's a van. Uh, I've seen a lot of that stuff back and forth when I was approaching to this location. This car, you could see one already for, for miles and that semaphore light blinking like crazy. So as I approach, <laughs> uh, this is what psychiatrist Peter Kopf had in mind. Uh, it's going to indicate this and that. So do you think uh, stuff like this, do you think the stuff like you should have a police officer right there and psychiatrist proof of abuse? Do you think that it matters? This is abuse. This is a different category. This is not the same category as the guy that I didn't want to basically have anything to do with his license registration plate a little earlier that, that you have seen me video recording. It's a totally different situation. This situation involved harassment. Police had intervention vehicles on this location, not on one, not on two, not on three. It was this location that you see right there that was involved with the students uh, for about maybe even well, now, when I look at the time, uh, the first time this stuff happened, it must have been 2013. That's 10 years ago when they threw me inside a psychiatric hospital. It was the first time that this, this, this issue came on a picture. The lights and uh, the car was not like this, the car, the whatever car that was, they, they indicated it's gonna be some car. It's gonna be some car, but they not indicate what kind of car it's gonna be. Uh, this car, I don't think that this is car from 2013, the Audi A4, or maybe it is, or whatever, whatever the case might be. Uh, I did give you background about Audi, uh, BMW was involved in it, Mercedes was involved in it. Uh, but, you know, so was Hyundai, Korean Hyundai, and Toyota, uh, and Kia, uh, and Shangyong is very, I recommend Shangyong. Uh, and many, many manufacturers were involved in this stuff. Uh, everybody was trying to make, and they did, made enormous business with this stuff, with this kind of communication methods when you're bugged, surveillanced by a governments, not only private companies, parties, uh, and 
those who have ability to share actually audio recordings, if you ever heard about industrial espionage and so on, uh, it's a big deal actually. It's mega billion dollar deals that were done through this stuff. Uh, uh, companies such as Elon Musk's Tesla grew up out of nothing through this case. Uh, and so did Facebook and many other companies that did not exist, that exist today, and people see themselves in uh, whichever way grew up through this kind of issues. Um, the man, you are about to hear me, the owner of this Audi, which I'm going to play you in the recording. Yeah. Um, as I approach to this location here, I don't know how much I can approach. I got to be careful with it. Okay, here, a license registration still cannot be seen from here. But I get this blinking of the lights everywhere. I get this stuff, and that's when basically I'm going to stop. Uh, the first thing, the first proof about MK Ultra, I am going to fire at the owner of this vehicle, this black Audi. Because, as I stated, these people were involved in MK Ultra. Um, is there like anything else that I can use here as a proof I'm thinking about? Yeah, actually, it is. Uh, it, it still is. There's it, still, still something I can do about this stuff here. This was recorded at exactly 15 minutes to one o'clock in the morning. As you see, it's midnight and 46. Um, as I pass uh, the area, contrary to the car that you have seen me, I did not video record. I did video record with camera light on because I want to make sure that people see me video record. I, I, I have a feeling that police, uh, the psychiatrists, they were too much into um, insecurity. Uh, how are you going to react to certain issues? Uh, are we going to, you know, intimidation, that kind of stuff, uh, which is a pretty crazy factor. I am not intimidated. I make sure that I would nicely turn a light from the camera as I pass next to the car and make sure I took a beautiful shot of the license registration number uh, before I would continue, basically, walk right past. As I walk right past to this restaurant, the doors opened and the guy started to walk toward me, uh, yelling like it looked like he was going to have a physical fight with me. He had like shorts and yeah, shorts. He literally had a shorts and he had a white shirt that he's going to have a physical confrontation with me. And it was a waitress that would come out right after him and would hold him and get him back inside of the restaurant, uh, convince him that, that go inside of the restaurant. Well, I did not even pay attention to them. I continued to walk. It's all audio recorded. Uh, but as I passed, as I did go a little further from this semaphore light, uh, it started to boil in my head. You know, this uh, violence they did on me. Uh, individual suggested me that he will be drunk inside of the restaurant. Uh, the waitress is eventually going to give him some food to eat so that his drunkness, the alcohol, will dissipate. Uh, he will gain strength and yeah, he played a tough guy during MKUltra. Then he's going to sit inside of the car. And 
and that he's going to catch up with me with a car and whip me and beat me up and stuff like this. Uh, he wasn't alone in doing this stuff. There was others, his companion, one of the companions also you're going to hear, that had a different kind of scenario for me. Uh, and as I walked past, I realized, I said to myself, I said, really? So I, I, I pulled the camera again out of my pocket, yeah, and I started to video record again from the distance the restaurant. I wanted to make sure that I described the incident as close as possible to what exactly happened. Then I proceeded further towards Mariashka to please her. So the timing is important here. 15 minutes to 0, 100 hours in the morning. Uh, needless to say that restaurants shouldn't be open. They should not operate at those hours. And the window of the restaurant. I will go ahead. I am going to connect shortly to the internet. Was like totally dark window it's a window that you cannot see inside of the restaurant uh, it's very important stuff because those who speak slovenian language will hear them saying that i recorded them at the restaurant how the fuck can i record them inside of the restaurant when the window itself is smoked window this is a window that is dark window that is uh uh that's got a um, how can I say? You can't see inside it, all right? It's like uh, dimmed, all right? It's like a dimmed window that you can't see, like in some cars they have against the sun or whatever. You can't see inside. You can't see inside, but the audio recorder was on, and that audio recording gave me a perfect crystal clear audio recording about what went on. Later, as I returned back, uh, interesting also to note is that the owner of the Audi uh, began to death threaten me. Uh, what his friend, you're about also to hear, uh, was uh, it looked like both of them, it looked like they were willing to have a physical confrontation with me. Uh, but just as I was suggested, during MK Ultra, uh, if you would not put your backpack down on time, definitely would be a physical confrontation. Uh, it looks like I did put the backpack down on time, and then the guys, it's a crowd of people, uh, did not feel like they want to have a maybe a physical confrontation. And so they would let me go. They would give me some death threats and stuff like this. Uh, basically, the same scenario that I encountered at Church of St. Mary's Nativity at Trskagora, again in the morning hours, uh, at night, <laughs> done definitely so that I would not interrupt people. Uh, it's actually, I'm doing this night walks uh, to keep the, obviously, uh, vital organs alive uh, and to avoid having any kind of potential conflict, anything with anybody. Obviously, I'm, I am trying to avoid uh, a touch with the public. But if you go and you're going to start to harass and intimidate with the issues like this, uh, yeah, then, of course, you're going to get what you should have gotten already a long time ago. Police didn't do the job back then. But I'm doing the job instead of police for the police. The individual, the owner of the Audi car, was an individual who was involved in MK Ultra. Yeah, I have to disconnect the the hard drive. Okay. because I'm not going to be coming back. 
it also makes sense for me to demonstrate exactly what the time of what could become an altercation was. That was basically when I was returning back to uh, toward the car. Yeah. Okay. So 15 minutes plus eight minutes. Uh, you are talking about shit. You're talking about 20, 23 minutes of time more because it was flashing already from the distance. But you're talking about 25 minutes of time for what I recorded. This car was parked in an inappropriate parking space that's reserved for the bus. Uh, and you had at one o'clock in the morning, basically somebody coming out of the restaurant and threatening you with a physical confrontation, uh, literally, according to the police scenario, were to, if I would get myself, if I would start to sit and call for the police, the police officers who were involved in this with the intervention cars threatened me, uh, they would get me an ambulance vehicle that would come to pick me up. <laughs> That's why, especially, I am doing this stuff. Um, I am going to make sure that in my earliest convenience, I'm going to get you a police in this facility here, because I want to know who tonight, which one of you guys tonight was on a duty. Well, you guys are going to answer to me the questions, what you meant by this during MK Ultra when you had me captive, drugged up in a really terrorist way, because this is a terrorism. To drug up somebody and threaten person with a stuff like this is a terrorism. This is not a police work. What exactly you meant by this? You're gonna have an ambulance vehicles come to pick me up or something like this. You see, this is when the time stops and that's when I start to video record, and audio record, and I take extra long time to get all the evidence together. For your love, basically. That's what I do. So there are two different situations that you were able to see. Um, this is important stuff for me to use. Uh, this is not isolated. This is not uh, basically that in a restaurant which already should have been closed down. All right. So we see that this is this is what it is. Yeah, it's 110, and there is a crowd of people there. He just turned off the lights. Uh, crowd of the people right there. So, well over 25 minutes, this car has been parked right there outside uh, on the road like this. A road, sidewalk, it's public. It's not private. Uh, I didn't have any problem with a pub, restaurant, whatever that is. Uh, but when you start making me a problem like this, uh, then sure, I'm going to assist you for you to understand uh, where exactly are the limits to all this bullshit. Uh, first individual, the owner of the Audi, and now I really will disconnect this hard drive because it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a video separate to this one. I'm going to use uh, to present you the video recording. Yeah. Okay. All right. That is true too. The first individual, therefore, the owner of the Audi. We're going to go to one by one. And before I even do something like this, I want you to see with your own eyes what this restaurant looks like here. Yeah. So 
that I would go and video record people inside in here in this place. Uh, really, from my video recording, is clearly visible. I couldn't record anybody. I did not record. I did not video record anybody. In fact, the matter is, I was located when I did the return back to video to because of the guy who came out to threaten me. Yeah? He exited this door. And that's when I returned back and I started to video record because of what you see right now. Um, there's nothing to say. There is there's no way you can see from this public. No, this is public. Yeah, this is a sidewalk. This is road. This is not private. Huh? As you're going to hear them saying that I, I went to video record them. I didn't fucking go anywhere to video record them. I also have a proof. I have a video about it. It was recorded from the distance that you see here. When I started to boil, basically, I proceeded. I didn't even bother. Even when he came out, I didn't bother with it. But I went a little further and I started to the guy came out and actually give me started to threaten me and then I said fuck this then what we're gonna do is we're gonna record this whole thing that's it for for this here for this shit here for what was done to me hell yeah the first individual that was involved in this stuff based on MKUltra, you see, the first individual who was involved in this stuff based on MKUltra, or rather is not from Shmarieshka to uh, Toplice, where this took place, yeah, you see the red dot, but instead should be According to my memory, according to, oh, if I get to move this stuff somehow, no? can I? Hmm. Rather, this individual should be from the area over here. I don't know what it is. Sela Priratežu, uh, based on my memory, based on what I recall, I don't know what it is. Uh, but something is saying to me, Ratež, this area here, which is quite of a distance from Shmarieshka to Plitsa, from where I was. Uh, based on my memory, he is from this area here. Sela pri Ratežu Ratež. It was something like this. Maybe even here, this area here, whatever the hell this is. Dolenia Vas, whatever it is. This area from here, according to my memory, uh, he does have a house. I remember he has a house. I remember that stuff, that he has a house. Uh, a mother, I remember this, uh, based on my memory, he completed uh, a high school. At first, when it came to my mind, he did not even complete a high school. He completed a three-year school. Uh, but through involvement in this case, um, he, according to NK Ultra, okay, <laughs> Uh, what you're going to hear, he also has some problems, some other issues going on, which I am not going to explain right now. It's evident from audio recording. If I'm going to need that stuff, those that understand Slovenian language uh, will understand exactly what I'm talking about. I still don't know what's going on with this stuff. Uh, I have to f learn more about this stuff, okay? Okay. Um, 
he shouldn't be, he shouldn't get into what, what he did tonight. That was a mistake, very serious mistake on his part. Uh, I am not going to get into until I investigate and learn more about what he wanted to accomplish tonight, because I am not clear about what exactly went on. Uh, from what I recall, he went on through my case, got opportunity to study some more, and did not what I did, did not go to become uh, a mechanic or something like this, and then get himself another two years of education uh, to get the secondary done. Uh, so that probably means that he did finish a high school at least. And once he finished the high school, he went on and get himself some kind of certification. He even indicated he got a job at Slovenian military. And he became basically employed by Slovenian military. There was also some kind of talk that he became inspector uh, and then even police related and so on, that kind of stuff. It was a time when this individual claimed me uh, that once the, what you're about to hear comes out, that he would be transferred from uh, a novel mesto to Ljubljana. And then he twisted that stuff around and played with the psychiatric hospital I was in. So this is very, very twisted mind uh, that rather also left some uh, really traumas uh, and as such. Also angering me. That's what angered me. Um, and there is some other stuff also that I am extremely suspicious about when it comes to other people that were involved in this. But I'd rather a few very young people had some uh, really strange stuff going on. Uh, this is what he claimed to me. His life story was. Uh, in fact, he never was as... Uh, with so many kilos as he, I have seen one today. Uh, he had considerable weight. He never had so many kilos, uh, but he got these kilos once he started to study. Once he went on for university agree, degree, this is what he claimed me, he got those kilos. So I don't know whether he had a father, uh, my memory did not reach, did not go that far. I remember he did have mom, though. Uh, and I remember that he studied. Uh, that kind of stuff I remember. Okay, He had a lot of problems with me, with my political views, which is going to be also heard something on audio recording, which, as I stated, however, I will not get into. Another individual you're going to hear, this individual, I estimate, would be of the age, based on my knowledge, but I would say that he, he went on for university degree, I would say sometimes in like 2012, something like this. So that would take him another four years, I count. Uh, that would add like to the age 22, 23, um, when he would get his university degree. So that would be already like 2016, something like this. Um, and if you add all this shit together, this guy would be about the age 32, something like this, according to my calculation that I stated right now. However, according to his impressive resume, he was stressing in me. Uh, he could even have two years, maybe more. According to his physical looks, however, and according to the company he had, I would not give him uh, that many years. Uh, I extremely, extremely, extremely doubt about everything. That's what angers me. That's what angers me even more about this stuff. Because today, when I had 
business with his kids. For me, they're kids, so I'm 52. I had a feeling there was a lot, a lot of dishonesty in it. A lot of dishonesty, and it was a tremendous dishonesty because of this guy here. Because this guy exercised so many, like really, really desperate guy, exercised so many scenarios that would rather, every one of them would give me like a totally, totally wrong impression. And, uh, uh, when I consider all this, when I saw those young faces, they somehow did not match their resumes. The man I have spoken about, uh, if he's 32, his companion, his good friend, of course, got involved in it. Uh, so this guy, I have no idea how tall this guy is, guy I was talking about right now, maybe 180, maybe something like this. But his friend who came in his defense and who claimed me will have a physical confrontation with me. Based on MK Ultra information, he would be 10 years younger than he is. Okay. This is where the incident took place, and based on my information, this young kid was the only one, about 186 centimeters tall, was the only one who did not engage in uh, crazy behavior against me. Uh, the guy that I mentioned right now, saw in me a German guy, and you're going to hear him talking something about the Germans and stuff like this. Uh, this guy here, however, was quiet individual, and supposedly that he's from here. Based on MKUltra information I got, he would be literally from this city here that you see here. Oh, we're gonna do we're gonna do this. And he finished. How what the hell is this? University degree. Uh, beca he became involved very young based on information and was not a violent guy. He was rather uh, a pleasant guy, but he did have some crazy scenarios in it. Because it's, they probably they probably um, requested from from him to act crazy, maybe or something like this. I don't know. Okay, Shmarieshka to Plitze, and then so then that will be this here. Yeah, this one was from very about one and a half kilometer from the incident, so that will be from the town known as Shmarieshka to Plitze. This will be the second guy. You're gonna you're gonna hear me saying, "Come on, step back." Uh, he got in some kind of uh, uh, based on 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 MK Ultra scenario and so on. I I just didn't. Uh, uh, I don't feel like playing with it. All right, I don't like the 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 idea about this stuff. properly here so this is this is a very very close uh he is in a very very close proximity uh hell man what is this stuff here he's from this place here brezovica all right this is called brezovica sorry i made a mistake so this guy should be then from brezovica let me make let me just make let me just yeah, let me make sure that that uh, no, it's not Brezov. It's a damn it. It's further this stuff. Shmarieta. All right, Shmarieta. He's not from Shmarieshka to Plitsa. He's not from Brezov. It's a damn it. He is from Shmarieta. He's got about what is this here? 
2.5, what is it, 2.5 kilometers. And uh, based on MT Ultra information, he is, uh, he's, a, he's got a mother only. He, I think a single mom, if I remember this properly. He appeared to me to be a very nice kid. Fact of the matter is, as I stated earlier, I have no fucking clue. Uh, he did go and study, very successful, uh, according to MK Ultra, a very successful student. Unfortunately, they got in the wrong hands. Unfortunately, the one who took full advantage of it, of this crime, uh, was none other than police that employed these young minds. And of course, the upper hand, the police was the one who had the upper hand at the police station, was a neighbor of the police station, a psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, who extorted basically kids, Slovenian kids, to receive this stipendium, uh, basically cheaper apartments and that kind of stuff, connections, uh, maybe side jobs and stuff like this, so they could help themselves, and also promotions, jobs, security, and that kind of stuff was this individual here. This is a Milan Kucha and he's confident that you see right there. Okay. Uh, based on my information, this kid, he, is, he was from some house. From what I can recall, he is a, an excellent student and he went on to study to become a mechanical engineer. He went on to study to become a man, uh, mechanical engineer, something like this, a uh, full degree, a uh, four year, maybe more, uh, to, 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 to get his degree. That even that he was offered to study something else, whatever, but he refused or whatever. This was the story about MK Ultra. What the truth is, I really do not know. Apparently, that he is but 10 years younger than the man uh, I had mentioned was the owner of the Audi A4. Uh, that hell if the other guy is 32 and this one here would be a 22 uh, would not fit him in the bracket that would be wrong uh, if he's 10 years younger really um, I estimate according to what I stated right now university and get kind of stuff uh, based on the information from the police uh, if you go to 2018 and a police officer investigator who brought me to this location here in 2018, exactly this location here, it was investigator who brought me exactly, exactly this location here, to this restaurant here, bar, I should say, it's not a restaurant, it's a bar. Um, he stated me that uh, he went on also to take sport as borilne vešine, like karate or something like this, at sportna. Vorana, and that he was like really, really good. He's like really good. I remember some kid demonstrated me his skills, uh, that, that he was like really a, a deadly and so on, uh, that kind of stuff. And he also dem uh, he also demonstrated to me during MK Ultra, uh, just uh, touch me, and you will see how good I am. And I don't know what you know. This this is basically what they rehearsed tonight. Yeah. Um, to me, he did not look like he would be. He was trying to intimidate and that kind of stuff, but I put him back on a place. So it's for me hard to believe that that he would be a kid like this that would go and and want to have a physical confrontation. I don't know. I didn't. I don't. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe I liked him because of the MK Ultra or something like this. I was with him. Uh, but I just somehow don't know if if uh, if he would fit the profile of somebody that would be just desperate to get into physical confrontation with me. However, the police investigators claimed me that he managed to beat up as a 17 years old a, a grown-ups. They would 
uh, a set of set grown-ups from the region uh, these grown-ups would come here and he would blend with uh, with uh, uh, with a regular folks that spent time here in this place uh, and it would be a physical altercation uh, obviously together coordinated with police that would end up with arrests and even people having broken teeth and stuff like that okay so this was the second individual the second suspect uh, about 185 186 tall uh, who also was present today uh, at this place once I returned he was here with a lot of girls uh, maybe it sounds insane but maybe the one who angered me the most and uh, maybe it's going to be surprising to you were the young girls uh, how the hell would that be possible well because I think it was a big scam the whole thing because I don't believe much of this stuff because of this individual here uh, I'm actually suspecting because these girls became uh, during MK Ultra they became a diplomera nesestre uh, sisters with university degrees a nurse uh, basically a physician even that kind of stuff was involved in it based on my estimation age estimation that's fucking impossible because um, <laughs> uh, they look really really young I know that if you are doing a sports and stuff like this uh, and it applies also to the two guys uh, the chances are that you're gonna look younger at whatever age if you are sporty and so on uh, but the thing about his uh, is that when I compared the ladies from MK Ultra at this general hospital novel master where they flash me like uh, assistants uh, I can't help myself uh, there was one girl that wanted to get assurance from me that everything is okay uh, that it, uh, it, it it stank all over the fucking place from this guy here that you see and this guy is the most severely mentally sick individual that you possibly can imagine this is not a psychiatrist this is a psychopath this individual ladies and gentlemen participated let me explain to you now you're going to see me a little bit when i talk about the psycho this is not a psychiatrist this is a psychopath this individual participated in something that started at the extremely early age as I started before I even entered the kindergarten so there's a physical confrontation violence within the children that more looked like a judo stuff uh, kids throwing each other on the floor chaotic crazy stuff which and my great disappointment it would be adults that would entertain if you like entertain themselves with that this is a stuff that especially was popular in Belgrade uh, it was some sort of entertainment and when this violence would stop cease for the day you would have these parents rushing homes from this Astona Shola Germa I remember obviously also from the kindergarten once I entered one that's why I know that this individual is mentally ill and very very this this individual is a psychopath he's not a psychiatrist he's got a papers he is a certified psychiatrist he does have university and everything but he's got everything fucked up in his head this here is the school which I attended never mind the kindergarten never mind a kindergarten never mind the kindergarten and I know at this school by the way right there is our house here was here right there behind this house is our house uh, 
This school here, I remember the parents that would come from the area, from this apartment building and so on. They would have, it was a fucking zoo in afternoon hours during MK Ultra. Uh, they would have us, I was drugged up. I don't know about other kids, uh, but it was beating. It was throwing each other on the floor. Boy, that's what fucking worse than if you would attend some uh, game between Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield, man. Uh, that was fucking everything you possibly could imagine. And it was kids that were doing this shit to kids. Uh, sometimes groups of the kids against even groups of the kids. Uh, this is, for me, excuse me, mentally ill shit. This individual here that you see that I demonstrated you, I'm not going to say he was a king, but I think he had a whole a lot to do with it. This kind of stuff changed a lot of people, and it's exactly the kind of stuff this psychopath played the card with. This, whatever started at my age six through the Belgrade, is what this individual continued to utilize throughout the entire MK Ultra procedure. How the fuck are you, as a psychiatrist, you know, what you're, what, you, what, you, what you're doing, what you're fucking doing is like a Gestapo. This is like you fucking work in some kind of concentration camp or something like this. And you yourself are fucking mentally ill because you want something that started at age six to continue throughout the victim's life, basically. You continue to use police, re not repression, but violence, brutality, anything that allows you to exercise, a remind individual of his early age, of his early years, and you continue to embed in. MKUltra had a very real consequences, many, numerous physical altercations for me. Uh, and you're using that kind of shit to intimidate, basically, for, you know, for what, basically? What are you trying to prove? That's why I said this. I'm not saying that he doesn't have papers for the psychiatrist. I'm just saying this, this fucking guy is mentally ill. He is obsessed. I've seen my father, how he became changed because of what I stated, because of this stupid shit, because of these games, because of, because of, addiction to this violence between the children. When they didn't have this kind of sport, they went home, you know, they all fucking miserable. If their kids or whatever kids wouldn't win and they sit in front of the fucking TV, they turn the TVs on and they watch the soccer game, they watch the basketball game. These people were in the need of uh, adrenaline. You, you understand me what I'm trying to tell you? It's a big fucking problem, this stuff. It's a big problem. And this problem, police station, law enforcement of the novel Mesto continues to exercise. They continue to press. Not too long ago, it was the altercation in the morning hours at Tershkagora, at, at Church of the St. Mary's Nativity. And before this, it was also in the evening hours that I was assaulted in some part of the city where they also tortured me by the Get Your Restaurant, if you remember that stuff, in which police also was involved. That's why, guys, whoever was on intervention duty tonight, you bet you can expect me. You bet you can expect me, because I know that you were also involved in MK Ultra. if there was a police officer from this police station that was not involved from MK Ultra, Another suspect I'm going to mention to you so about the girls, I had no fucking idea who those girls are. Those girls look young. They look young to me. Uh, it was this individual who whoever insisted that they are not young, that they got the degrees, and I don't know what the fuck they got. Uh, one that's supposed to be finished like, uh, for attorney, and the other one for a uh, registered nurse, uh, physician. Uh, sorry. I, I don't relate myself to that stuff based on what I observed tonight for the young girls. I cannot say that. I will say, however, the older lady who had a mini Morris, uh, a mini Morris, is, is it, I don't even know, is it, is it still the name, mini Morris? I don't know. Okay. Let's see this shit here. Oh, okay. It's now a different name. 
uh, what the hell is that? the name of this, the new one. This was my, one of my favorite cars. Uh, it was also the car, uh, I think they assembled here in Slovenia because of me. British had a factory here in the Malomesto. Uh, all this shit through me, literally through this case. And uh, I got a very, very little. Ah, there you go. Uh, Mini, whatever the name is, Mini. This, this, this red stuff that you see right there, whatever it is, Rover Mini. Uh, is it? I don't know what it is. Uh, what, what are these cars now? Hell no, you think I am totally ignorant, right? It, it's not exactly my kind of choice, this car, folks. Uh, this was the choice of uh, Thailandese princess, Bairi Kitiaba, but not this one, but the bigger one, she liked that. Uh, old Mini, okay, Mini Cooper. Uh, a Cooper, yeah, this is what she liked, Cooper. Uh, it's a nice car. Now, this is a nice car, but... This is not a Cooper. It was a white color, some kind of uh, smaller vehicle that she had that looked just about like uh, the first one, the old one, this one, the small one that I demonstrated you, except that it was, that it was updated. Uh, anyway. oh, oh, there you go. The white color like this, she had a white color like this. So this lady has a house. Uh, based on my memory, she also has a sister. Um, and I ain't going to say anything else about this stuff. I'm going to stop. I asked her if she is a waitress. Uh, and I actually, if she's the owner of the restaurant, because she insisted me uh, how I am at one o'clock walking. And I was like, I am standing on a public uh, property surface uh, sidewalk. You're saying to me that one o'clock in the morning I'm walking. Yeah, okay. And so I looked at her and I said, well, you see, this is a public property here, but that restaurant, that actually the bar, whatever it is, that that one shouldn't be open anymore. That's the one out of which you came to threaten me, and so on. Now they, they, uh, they made me nervous because they tried to twist the story. They made the story in a, such a way that somebody that would not hear what I had to say right now would maybe even have a second thought because they, they claimed that I went on to video record them. Like, what the fuck? I mean, the next thing, what else? Maybe I entered the, the facility or something like this? Not to my knowledge. Uh, and the second thing is that two guys, they claimed that he did not come out of the uh, restaurant, which is not the truth. He came out of the restaurant and he demanded, he walked toward me like he's going to have a physical fight with me. And when you say that that you didn't do this kind of stuff and you you make the whole thing look like I went and even video recorded you inside of the restaurant, which by the way, really, because of this late hours, I even had the right to do that. <laughs> However, hell, I would not go and do that kind of stuff. My problem was only one. My problem were those lights that flashed right there. That's the stuff I didn't like. I didn't like the stuff I have just spoken to you about. Uh, this threats, this kind of uh, anxiety shit that you're going to play with me, uh, you're playing with a fire. <laughs> you're about to go to the jail. You don't understand the situation. You started at age six months. And I'm not even talking to this psychiatrist. I was very clear on a recent message when I stated to you all here in Slovenia, I am not playing with this stuff. You don't understand the seriousness of this situation. 
You don't understand anything about this shit. I lost 51 years of my life because of you. And I lost health because of you. Because of your reckless behavior. You understand? The apology, whatever it is, will never be accepted from this end. Because you have no conscience. You have no face to face with whatever you created. So what I want to do is I want to play you audio recording. And whatever I stated to you already, it's a translation of this uh, audio recording anyways, which I'm not going to go and translate. I have the time for that stuff. Then I'm also going to assemble the video, which is going to be, uh, well, I'm going to deem that license uh, plate. I, I will do this stuff, okay? Uh, I am going to go that far to do that. But... Here, even the death threats are involved in that stuff. So, this is a long audio recording. It's about 2 hours and 50 minutes long. It starts with the crickets. And... What is this? Two hours and ten minutes, two hours and what? Now I'm going to zoom in here. Ah, okay. Psychiatrist Peter Kops, yeah. Yeah, I already started to video record this stuff, obviously. I was very interested, like I said. <laughs> there is a saying that says, never start the word that you cannot finish. Well, when you start seeing me doing something like this, this is this is 100%. You can bet that uh, war already is finished. I don't go. I don't. I don't go into something. Just start doing something like this. I, I from the attorney point of view, from the lawyer's point of view, uh, examine well. Examine not only the situation but also my memories, uh, where it's needed. Why is it needed? What that's going to do for me? How the laws cover me? Uh, what rights do I have? Where are the strengths uh, they could potentially use against me? That's why you heard me saying, let's see how they're going to play this stuff. When I start doing that kind of stuff, it's already all over. Alright, so this is when they came out already, uh, and so well, we said 25 minutes, so this is a 37, uh, that should be somewhere. Um, Should be somewhere here when I pass the first time the the vehicle. That's important for me because it's gonna prove that the guy exited the building and started to yell at me. That's the stuff I didn't like. Was it a shorts? Uh, what is a long pants that he had? Uh, I'm not even sure, 
but I know he had a white shirt, t-shirt, whatever. Uh, and below what I'm going to do with this portion of the audio, I am just going to go ahead and I will uh, post this audio. It's going to be separately. Then I'll go ahead and also declare the video for you uh, so that you can also see pretty much what I already demonstrated. It's, so the older lady had a white mini, whatever that was. She has a sister from what I recall. They have a house, oh, that kind of stuff. With her possibly moving even into a new location, I'm not sure that into a new house or whatever. I know the parents had a house. Maybe it was a sister that kept that house. Yeah, her sister is married, but this one is single, according to MP Ultra. All of a sudden, they had a lot of these vans that would appear uh, from all the direction with the vans. Uh, Uh, I stopped here because uh, you were able to hear some wah, 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 stuff like that. And so uh, I was playing myself a music in my ears. I had a headphones in my, in my ears. What I said earlier that he came out and screamed, he did open the door and he came out and he made himself like big basically at the door with waitress coming behind him and pulled him inside. Uh, what appeared was rather saying to him, uh, go inside, it's not worth it, something like this in that sense. So right now I, I was capable to register that somebody appears to me opened the door or something. Let's do this stuff again. Yep. The two went inside, so I proceeded basically. Yeah, if this is what it is. Yeah, if you're gonna hear me start talking something dark right now, then that's what it is. Oh, okay. Duh, there you go. So the darling comes out here and starts to threaten basically. The doors do open, he comes out, and I don't even hear what the fuck he's saying, because guess what, I do have a headphones in my, I'm listening to headphones, I'm not interested in any fight, I didn't go to have a fight over there, whatever. Uh, before I managed to, to take off my headphones and stuff like this, they pulled him inside, and so he's gone, and I continue my, my road, but when I see this kind of aggressive stuff, you know, I already started to video record this stuff because of what I stated. Uh, I turn around and I make sure that I do catch this uh, restaurant, uh, that I do catch one. 
Uh, I want to make sure that they do uh, understand I'm not intimidated or anything like this. Um, all right. That's another catch. Um, this group of kids today, as I saw them as, are not the only people who had a party in this place. Uh, this place has been hired already by other people here from the city of the Nova Mesta, who was also involved in the MP Ultra, and some of which were really very violent. It was all kinds of stuff. When the police would bring me during MP Ultra there, uh, they would threaten me. They would say all kinds of stuff to me. It would be all kinds of, uh, we're going to come out and whip you and this and that. It's going to be this and that and this and that, you know. Um, That's why, that's why I, I, I made sure that the flashlight from the camera was on so that you can fucking see exactly what I'm doing. You don't pay attention, but uh, when it came to other issues, uh, I don't actually even have a flashlight on, but because of this kind of macho stuff and so on, I made sure that, you know, the light, you know, the, the camera would, uh, would have the, the flash display, you know, so that this thing will work, just so that you can see from far away, basically, what I'm doing, deliberately. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you want to show me a different, different, different side of life. Maybe you want to demonstrate to me how you, whatever you wanted to tell me during MK Ultra. So I want to, your MK Ultra scenario and stuff, I want, uh, I want to see basically what that looks like. So I continue to walk on the sidewalk. I continue to walk. The doors open. They call him. No. Hey, he is yelling at me. He's screaming at me. I stop. Yeah, I stop. And I continue to walk on the sidewalk. Uh huh. I just continue to walk. I just continue to walk. Oh, they curse me. It's it's a bad language they use, and you can hear this. Uh, <laughs> and I just continue on my on my sidewalk. Uh, he he goes inside of this uh, pub, inside of this bar, uh, and I continue. I I just continue. I I, I just continue my way. So they refer to this here, uh, whatever they were trying to say, I did not go and video record anybody, I just took the license plate number as I passed through there and I proceeded, I continued to walk. But uh, because of this kind of conduct that he displayed, I wanted to make sure that the people inside of that bar, whom I could possibly not see, there's a lot of people there, uh, get the message. And the message was that... Uh, I'm not intimidated, and I will come for you, whether you like it or not. That pretty much is the message that I display to them. Seems like they did not like that. And this is when I start to video record. Guy, 
actually I did not video record yet. I stopped here. I stop here. Now I start to video record. I turn around and I go back and I start to video record. Uh, you're going to be able to hear me talking and so on. That's all there was. Yeah. I continue to walk, continue to walk. I also did some video recordings. I was very, very tactful. Uh, I would go and I would walk. I would make uh, uh, a round. I would make like maybe 10 minutes. Uh, and then I would make another 10 minutes, and then I would start walking back. Uh, uh, each 10 minute round, I have used to video record uh, the car that was parked with those lights, with those aggressive lights that would continue to flash at this sidewalk. Uh, what I was doing to my advantage, I was video recording, in other words, I was getting myself evidence of the car illegally parked with those lights over there, flashing them, um, this individual even insisted during MK Ultra that he is some kind of inspector uh, who should be even examining this bar, this uh, uh, this uh, this bar, this location uh, that is going to be investigation and it's going to prove that he is an investigator. He later presented himself as a Uradna Seba or Yauna Seba. I think Uradna Seba. Uh, that's a basically official, like state official, either as a police officer, inspector, or uh, some kind of uh, a person, a public person, basically, with official assignment uh, that he would carry. Uh, next to his death threats that he exercised, the stuff that he stated to me, how uh, if I'm going to put any of this stuff on the internet, that he's going to dig me a grave and stuff like this, that he's going to, I don't know what he's going to do to me over there. Um, I, I just I just wouldn't waste my time on that stuff. You know? I didn't much, uh, I, I didn't care about any of that stuff. Uh, so uh, on the videos which I assembled, you're going to be able also to see the time frames for how long his vehicle remained parked. On, on that place. Uh, the initial plan that I had for tonight was actually to summon a police patrol vehicle. Uh, if that will go to distance, uh, which I already did, it was like 25 minutes. Um, if it will go to distance, uh, if I would get some kind of attitude when I was coming back, uh, my plan was actually to pull the telephone out and call for the police patrol to come uh, to assist. Uh, I wasn't going to uh, walk anyway, anywhere. Uh, the only thing I was doing, I was, I was going for 10 minutes and I would return to video record more evidence about how the car is illegally parked over there. And I would take another minute and I would come back uh, not to them, but from the distance I did that, just to make myself clear. I would not approach to that restaurant. Uh, of course, when I was returning back from the, uh, from the uh, hiking, uh, I had to pass through that area. And uh, that's when I see them right out of the car, the whole crowd. Uh, behind this bar and so on, loudly discussing out uh, their issues, their affairs, whatever it was. 
uh, and I was just uh, minding my own business. Uh, I was pretty sure that uh, I'm going to really have a chance, that I'm going to have a good opportunity uh, to get uh, police assistance to these people today. There was nobody was intimidated. Nobody was intimidated. Uh, if the police vehicle would come, they would have this individual step out of the car. They would search his car for the gun, uh, for the weapon, uh, and based on his conduct, he would be handcuffed and taken away. Today, there was absolutely no doubt about. So all this stuff about what if you will do this and you will do that, I said, uh, I had no idea. It appears to me like this now, Mr. Police don't know fuck about the laws. Uh, these are like sheriffs that go on a night ride. Uh, they sit in those Skodas, BMWs, whatever the fuck they have. They turn the key, they get themselves a coffee a lot. They load themselves with that stuff. And then they cruise back and forth and probably sleep. I have no idea what they're doing because they're very invisible. Uh, but during MK Ultra, these police officers from Novo Mesto have their own explanation for the law. You know, they 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 were explaining themselves law basically like uh, you know. <clears throat> I'm not going to say in no professional way. They were explaining themselves law, whichever way, uh, you know, their schizophrenic temperament uh, would fit their needs. A heavy violence, psychiatric violence that was implemented with me on 2013. Beginning the 2013, when I was hospitalized, thrown behind a bar, psychiatric hospital, was exploited to the full potential. When I say to the full potential, I mean violence-wise. I was squeezed against the wall, ridiculed for suffering, for the pain. Psychiatrists will make fun of saliva running out of my mouth. He would have people meeting me on a sidewalks and laughing in my face and doing stuff like this. With parents, my father, my mother, people involved from broad area, ridiculing, basically suffering, pain, damage they caused. And he was at the full potential of terror, basically a, a stock like this file of letters I received from Slovenian attorneys throughout entire Slovenia. They would send me letters where they would suggest me, uh, like why they cannot represent me uh, or. Uh, you know what kind of attorney they got me? The attorney they got me was an individual. Every one of them was involved in MK Ultra. They got all the state, all the attorneys, state and private attorneys involved in it. And all of them would suggest me, there's no hope for you. There's no hope for you. And the one who represented me, contrary to my writing, contrary to my giving a testament, she claimed all through I have done stuff that I had nothing to do with. She added more stuff that I never stated, that nobody ever stated, apparently. She was writing the stuff. She was adding the stuff, her own stuff, writing. Uh, she gestured that I shouldn't be, uh, I don't know, uh, treated like this, despite doing numerous extra things, which not even the prosecutor wrote against me. <laughs> this is basically what they were doing. And then based on that kind of stuff, they were doing all kinds of stuff, all kinds of 
techniques to terrorize, to intimidate, and so on. Using a police on for whatever you're going to complain, whatever you're going to call for a police intervention, something is going to be you who's going to be arrested. This is how they play. This is this is this is a Slovenian interpretation, police interpretation of the laws. That's basically how they interpreted laws. This is what they think. This is what the police and neighborhood police is. That's what the police is called. They're fucking crazy. That's why I said, that's why I stated that from Slovenia, from the nation, from any fucking anybody, I am not accepting any kind of apology, any kind of anything, and will have international authorities investigate Slovenian conduct. Early. I want world to acknowledge what the fuck this is here. If I did call for the police today and police somehow would decline to assist me, I would call for another police intervention vehicle Tomorrow I would be at the police station and I would demand for the police officers who intervened and would not do the stuff that I stated ought to be done, arrested, literally. You understand? You understand? Tonight the police officer that would come to investigate would have to search the vehicle and would have to apprehend the individual because of the death threats and nothing else and cool him down at the local prison, at the local facility. The record about the paranoid schizophrenia from 2013 Not only police doesn't know how to rationalize, apologize, mindless crime. What the fuck are you going to do? When one of these days I come for you at the police station with it, with police officers for you, what are you going to do? This is my question. I'm not worried about what you have done to me 2013 and that you rush with the police and that you intimidate all this stuff. My question to you is what the fuck are you going to do because of all these issues that you have done? I am not intimidated. I am not, I'm not in absolutely any way uh, do you know what bothers me about 2013 about this psychiatric stuff it bothers me fact of the matter is that I would have to go to the police station next day and demand police officers arrested. That's what bothers me. We don't want to do this. We want international authorities to investigate Slovenian police. I don't want to give you a chance. You understand me what the fuck I'm saying? All these issues at Šmarieška Toplice, at Trška Gora, at numerous other locations, Slovenian police wanted to use to trigger the investigation through which they would somehow go and in, start to investigate one another. But when you start to investigate one another, you that have done this shit, what can I expect out of that stuff? American FBI stated me much more than if you get assistance from us. Uh, but that is very 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 relevant uh, joe biden insisted that nobody knows about more than slovenian police about what went on in slovenia that this is needed that they want to involve other people in it from other countries uh, they don't want to be the only one uh, doing that kind of stuff uh, but these issues are how the fuck can i say properly um 
Joe Biden is a lawyer who does not know a fucking thing about the law. And I am not the lawyer. But one thing is to have a scandal. And then another one is to basically point out, which I already have, something that started at my age six months. That's a genocide. That's not, that's not for you to decide uh, whether you would investigate and who would investigate. Uh, it's not for you to mistaken in my head through a repression and through the violence that you exercise. Uh, they were very well known, this cult of naysayers. No, no, you will never, you know, no, no. Um, you must be nice, you must be nice, and so on. Um, when you say to me nice, you must be nice, and Joe Biden repeated this shit to me with Donald Trump, and pretty much with all American presidents, you must be nice, nice, be nice. Uh, There is no such a thing like a nice. First of all, it can be honest. You know what the difference is between the nice and honest? You fuck me 51 years of life. One thing is nice, and another one thing is honest. Now, let me ask you a question. Take a wild guess. What exactly do I need? Do I need honest or nice? Which one of these two do I need to get my stuff done? What do you think I'm after? And honesty here does not forgive. Uh, a nice, that means weak, that means a weakling, that means a fucklet, that means the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, who is mentally ill individual who participated this butchery since my early age will win eventually. There is no fucking place for nice here. There is a place for the police. There is a place for investigation. There is a place where you did, you did not, for the submission or whatever you guys have. From my point of view, I don't need, I don't need additional proofs. I don't need, I don't need the proofs from the police. I don't need the police. I only need the police to do the job. But that's because I do the shit so damn good. Because I am the best at it. If I wouldn't be, and I wouldn't know, and I would be doing uh, barking, a uh, moon barking or something like this, and I would know what the fuck went on, and I would start to rely then, sure on other people, on a police, if you can help me, and so on. But in this case, this is not the case. We want to make sure that for the cost of whatever it is, if it's only possible to not involve Slovenian police. Because I don't want Slovenian police to investigate this. I want to fuck Slovenian police. You understand? I want to fuck psychiatrist Peter Kopsch. I want to come to pick you up, boy. I am dreaming about you night and day. I'm not interested in your assistance, in your help, in what you have to say. There is a difference between the scandal and between the genocide. You understand? We don't want to mistake scandals, bullshit, with a harsh reality because of which I lost 51 years. I'm not interested in fucking scandals. I had a lot of proposals from a lot of people. You see a lot of people filing for death certificates these days. There's a lot of people here, a lot of people. Prince William is going to have to get somebody else for the job. I'm not interested in that job. I don't want people to mistaken me for scandal. You understand? I'm a real person. It's a real person talking to you. I am not interested in being part of scandal, actually becoming part of the scandal. This is not a scandal. This is about the truth. True is related to the honesty. 
nice. This is about how much you were abused, how much damage did torture, damage your self-confidence, basically harm your brain. Even the stuff that you accomplish, how much you are willing to lower yourself down, how much you are let go, how much you are willing to negotiate. There's no fucking negotiation in this case. You understand? From a different point of view, from the real point of view, my only fear from the Slovenian police is that Slovenian police would actually solve this case and demonstrate itself as somebody competent, somebody with credibility. That would be like the worst fucking thing. And that's never going to happen, for what I'm concerned. That much about 2013 hospitalization. You shouldn't have done it. So we established that individual, in fact, did came out of the restaurant when I was passing through, and he did come after me, and he did wanted to have a physical altercation with me. It was a waitress that pulled him, literally pulled him back inside of this bar restaurant. Uh, on my way back, this here is what happened, and I will not translate. Uh, it's already exactly what I stated. They wanted to have a physical altercation also with me. Uh, threats. Uh, the girls came out to, in a parenthesis, calm. I don't know what these guys would do without the girls anyway. Uh, but uh, a fact of the matter is everything you're going to hear them state, that is true. Uh, that's actually easing circumstances for these guys. Was stated to me during MK Ultra all about how Internet is going to put me, uh, it's going to bury me with a shovel, shovel and, and that kind of stuff. All that stuff was interpreted, repeated to me during MK Ultra on several occasions, including with individual who uh, kind of brazenly tells me uh, to pick up the backpack and get the fuck out of there. This uh, karate guy that I mentioned uh, from Shmarieta. Uh, he was, he did uh, a gesture, he insisted that uh, that's the way it should play out and uh, was very heavy during MK Ultra on that uh, subject. He expanded one and he started to ask me, would you, if you, if, if uh, like this and I would treat you and I would say this to you, would you, uh, would you really go and pick up or uh, would you ask yourself, uh, how come that uh, I am talking to you like this and so on and stuff like this, like you are nobody and so on and you are, I don't know what you are and this and that. Uh, nothing else. I am just going to let this no, roll through. And then what I will do is I will present you with the video recordings. So on my way back, this here is what happens. Uh, guys, there are reasons why I do not stop at the Novo Mesto police station. There are reasons why. Uh, there are reasons why I do not communicate with Ljubljana. There are very, very strong reasons. They have done a lot of other crimes. Uh, I don't believe that Slovenia has the right to resolve this case anymore. Uh, Slovenia had plenty of time. Uh, Slovenia caused enormous amount of damage to me uh, and how can I say um, it's just going to have to be international authorities that will uh, get this done. Uh, Slovenian police will not be allowed to run this procedure. Slovenian police could uh, trigger some kind of uh, procedure against me uh, I was even insisted uh, it would be uh, used, uh, which is rather suspicious to me, uh, for me to run by the Vladimir Putin, uh, for me to run to Ukraine, that this would be used for me to run to Ukraine uh, 
and that kind of stuff. But the thing about it is, this is like a fucking dream from the La La Land. Uh, fact of the matter is that I will bury Slovenian police with the Slovenian state. And then I don't fucking know. I told you, you are going to sign, you are going to pay, then I'm going to kick you in your ass, and then we're going to go separate ways. This is the rest of the audio recording. You know, uh, uh, one thing I have to tell you. Uh, when the war in Slovenia started, you know, and um, it was the Serbs that attacked with everything they had, uh, with the tanks and with the, with, the, with the fighter jets, and they started to shoot on the on the, on the civil civilians. And, they, they will impose their own, the same like in Ukraine, basically, their own order and so on. Um, uh, it was a neighbor here, you know. It no longer is. I hope he's still alive, but he no longer is here. And, 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 and he said to me, you know, uh, what's going to happen is we're going we're gonna to have to, you know. Uh, we, we, we're going to be like in a Vietnam, you know. We're going to be like a Vietnamese people. You know, he said, we don't give a fuck. We are going to dig ourselves to the ground and they're not going to get us out. The same like the Vietnamese people. We're going to be stubborn. Uh, we're going to do whatever it's going to take. We're going to eat rats, whatever it's going to take, but we're going to win this war. Uh, I am maybe worse than them. I am like a Japanese kamikaze. You know, once, once I get you on a fucking target, you know, if you think I'm ever going to let you go, you're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. I'm the only guy that walked from the psychiatric hospital and did this shit. If you think, if you think I'm going to ever, ever let you go, you're fucking crazy. You're crazy. You got the right guy for the job. You had a, such a chance to issue public apologize, to take responsibility for the mindless shit you did. And you would not use this and you drag, and you postpone, and you delay, and you ridiculed me, and you caused me more problems, and more physical problems, and you think I'm ever going to let you go. You dream on. Dream about it. Uh, I am going to go ahead and I will amplify this stuff too. Not to my knowledge, it will be prohibited. Yeah, we're gonna go with this stuff here. We're gonna copy this stuff. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, he did have a problem with my uh, kamikaze uh, personality. It, 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 he claimed that this was this is not good. That this is this is kamikaze. It's always boo. It's always ends up in a yes. I mean, interesting. He profiled absolutely everything. He profiled absolutely everything. It's just the only thing is, I don't know what the fuck he was trying to tell me. I don't understand anything he was trying to tell me.
vjerojatno u seba, a nije rekao da je vjerojatno u seba. Najprej ste vi rekli da ste vi vjerojatno u seba. Pete svoje pojde. If you somehow still are there, uh, as was in the Slovenian language, uh, there is nothing to say. The guy came out as violent, stepped out of the car, uh, was making himself over that dick enough for me to take the backpack off real quick. And then I was just waiting to see what's going to come as next. Maybe the guys wanted to have a physical altercation. I have no idea. Uh, other than that, it was, at least I established that it was time for me to move on. So I left. Uh, not in a way this individual's positions right there by the novel mess the police have anticipated, believe the case is going to be. I, however, cannot afford myself not to place this stuff on the internet because well I am walking at night and because of this MK Ultra violence that went on uh, will not allow anybody from keeping me indoors uh, as a novel mess the police believe the case is going to be that's all there is to it. There is nothing much to report. Anything else here to report? This was the video in English. I am going to come up with the physical videos, which I'm going to make sure that the license plate is not going to be seen anywhere of the vehicle, which I recorded. Uh, yeah, it's just going to go into a pocket of the incidents, which I will use further to support my claim. Uh, 
This is the same thing like the one at Tashkagara, like everywhere else. Uh, the same shit, the same thing, all organized by the police. Today is September the 4th, 2023. There is nothing else I would add to this video. Uh, several people were identified in this video. And there is a message in the video. The message states clearly why I do not use the police. Why I do not inquire about the police intervention. It's a simple thing. It's a simple thing. Um, I don't feel that Slovenian police deserves second chance. This wouldn't be a second chance, but this would be 51 years of chances. Human trafficking, being blacklisted on employment market, uh, that kind of stuff, this, this, this is bullshit. This is the end of it. We got nothing else here to say. We, we are done with it. September 4, 2023, 0912 hours.